Gin is one of my favorite spirits to make cocktails with. There's so many options and there's so many different flavor profiles. When someone says they don't like gin, I make them a clover club. Have you ever had somebody that you made a clover club for that didn't like it? Once in a while, it's usually the egg white that freaks mm. them out about it. But for the most part, even if they don't like it, they're like, they don't mind it. So you get a lot of people they don't like gin. My usual comeback is, well, you drank it wrong back in college. And they usually laugh because it's true. Right. <laughs> now, there are some people that say they just can't handle gin anymore because it's their one spirit. Totally right. get that. But a Clover Club is a great cocktail. It's raspberry syrup, lemon juice, egg white, and gin with dry vermouth. Now there's multiple ways to make it. We're doing the way with dry vermouth because that sounds super interesting. It just gives a little more dynamic flavor. The place that actually got this particular recipe very popular is the Clover Club in Brooklyn, New York. Julie Reiner is one of the co-owners of the Clover Club. She's owned multiple bars in the New York area. And she's a pretty well-known mixologist right. and in, the, in the industry. In the industry. And if you're not sure who she is and you watch Drink Masters, she's one of the judges on there. Yep. Clover Club has been a cocktail around for, I, don't know, I think, at least 100, 100 plus years now. Yeah, it was a pre-Prohibition cocktail right. that kind of got lost. And then Prohibition era cocktails came into came back into the limelight. It yep. was one of the ones that had a resurgence, thanks to Julie Reiner. Right. There's an article we read online where they were studying different ways to make the Clover Club and someone stumbled upon a version that added dry vermouth and they perfected their version of the Clover Club. Unfortunately, I don't know what that exact version is because we don't have the raspberry syrup specs. Right. We are going to use the raspberry syrup that we made a couple episodes ago. If you want to check that out, links in the description or right above here and see how a Clover Club with dry vermouth is. I'm excited. So we're going to start off with a half ounce of egg white. I'm buying egg whites now in cartons because regular eggs, just a little too expensive for me. Next, we're going to do three fourths of fresh squeezed lemon juice or super juice, whatever you prefer. Next, we're going to do three fourths raspberry syrup. We're going to do now a half ounce of dry vermouth, one and a half ounces of gin. We're going to dry shake this for eight seconds, eight to 10 seconds. Dry shake just means no ice. We're going to add some ice now to our tin. And now we're going to give it a nice hard shake for 12 to 15 seconds. Go and take your favorite stem glass here. We got these, I don't even know what they are. Big Nick and Nor glasses, big coops, but we like it. Double strain. And then now the common garnish for a Clover Club is three raspberries. I'm excited to give these a try with that dry vermouth. I did it once before, but this is a different dry vermouth that we don't have at work. And I think this is a little bit higher quality than this maybe, so we'll use. Cheers. Oh, wow. That is really good. I've had several different versions of a Clover Club, mm -hmm. like with Chambord, right. instead of raspberry syrup, without without vermouth. Right. And like spec changing. I mean, it is a basic sour cocktail. Right, so exactly. it can, you can, there's wiggle room for like, if you like it sweeter mm -hmm. or more sour. Yep. This might be my favorite version. Yeah, this is really, this is, yeah, this is really good. The raspberry is really punchy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's a great balance between this gin the dry vermouth and the raspberry and the lemon. Right. You know, you can obviously get different types of London dry gins that would be way more juniper heavy. Mm -hmm. um, I know Julie likes to use Plymouth gin specifically yes. because it kind of gives it a little bit more punch. Because the juniper is light. In oh, it's the light, Plymouth yes, gin. yes. Stay tuned for Friday's video where we decide, was that the right gin to use? But I definitely think this is a great cocktail. Like, I don't understand if you don't like gin just because you, you drank it wrong, mm -hmm. how you would not like this. It's tart, right. it's sweet. It's complex flavor, but it's all very well balanced. Yes, it is. It, it's a delicious cocktail. There's a reason why it's been around for so long. Right. Do I think I could drink several of these in a row? No. I don't think so. At any time in your drinking night, it'd mm -hmm. be a great first drink. It'd be a great way to maybe just spruce things up in the middle yep. or a great nightcap. Right. Because I like tart things at the end of the night. It's so. sweet enough to end the night on. Yeah without being overly sweet for any other part of the day. Yep, exactly. So it's also a perfect brunch cocktail, I think. <laughs> like, <laughs> I wouldn't be mad about it. I would rather have this in the mimosa. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So yeah, if you haven't had a Clover Club, give it a try. If you have some vermouth, dry vermouth hanging around, add a little bit of that. Again, it's just gonna kind of give it some more depth and character than just, just gin alone. So if you don't have a raspberry syrup, you don't have any, but you have Chambord, you can use Chambord as a replacement. 
we did a video. That was one of our first videos, I think, was I a think shame so, yeah. board clubber. Give this cocktail a try. Yes. Uh, if you haven't watched Shink Masters, it's entertainment. It's fun. It's pretty. It's fun to watch. You can see also the owner of the Clover Club. And if you're in Brooklyn, New York, you probably already know about the bar. So hopefully yep. one of these days we'll get out there. But cheers, everyone. Enjoy your drink and your snack when you're done.